My name is James O'Sullivan. I'm farming in West Cork near the villages of Lepe and Newland Hall. I'm running a dairy calf to beef system here, buying in about 90 Angus calves at two to three weeks old and then trying to finish as many of them as I can off grass before the second winter at 18 to 20 months. My name is Anna Sexton. I'm a dry stock advisor based in the Chagask office in Skibreen and I'm the local advisor here to James O'Sullivan. I'm also involved in the Dairy Beef 500 discussion group for the Cork West region. So I suppose my main focus here would be disseminating knowledge to the dairy beef farmers in the region through the discussion group um, with the assistance of the Chagas Dairy Beef 500 team. So I'm buying all my cows uh, the last couple of years off four farmers off a mid-sized Frisian cow, nearly all AI cows. Um, I suppose they're trying to encourage um, the dairy farmers to use the, the better bulls within their calving range. Uh, with a focus on uh, carcass weight over 10 kilos if I can. The CBV is a good guide for um, using the better bulls, try and get better weights into the cattle uh, and finish them a bit earlier at better grades as well. We try and evolve uh, four and five star calves if we could, within reason anyway. Farmers need to know what they're buying when they're buying cattle. I suppose in, in terms of suckler production, we have our indexes similar to what's in the dairy side of things. As non-breeding cattle, um, we need to know where where these where the traits are coming from, and I suppose we need to be weighted towards our carcass conformation and our carcass weight. It's, it's very important for the fa farmers going into the mart and farmers buying the calves privately uh, to have this information. You know when they're going to buy their calves because they will have a genetically more superior animal. And I suppose what we want to try and do in those situations is reduce age to slaughter and you know, to try and meet the market specification when it comes to slaughtering those animals at a later stage. And I suppose it's very difficult looking at a calf two to four weeks old with a high CBV and a calf with a low CBV and you're looking at something similar, you know, and you, you need to know what the genetic potential of that animal will be in the long run to deliver on the farm. These are the yearling cattle here behind us. The plan with them, I suppose, is to finish as many of them as I can, kind of by in October, November. Some of the heifers will probably be gone in September. Um, the target carcass weight for the heifers this year is 260 kilos, and hopefully the bullocks will come into over 300 kilos, with about maybe an average of 250 to 300 kilos of ration to get them finished. The Dairy Beef Index is an index similar to the Eurostar Index being used to breed beef cattle from the, from the dairy herd. It focuses on the three sub-indexes being the calving sub-index, the beef sub-index and the carbon sub-index. And I suppose historically, and, and dairy farmers will be looking at having a shorter gestation length and an easy calving bull. What, what we'd be trying to encourage them to also look at is a market for their beef calves. So the, the beef sub-index is very important in that it's focusing on the carcass traits, on the conformation and on the carcass weight. And we'd be encouraging them to kind of look at beef sub-index of plus 100 and the carcass of plus 10 kg. So in order to supply a good animal to the, 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 to the dairy beef farmer who will be buying those calves. So this is my calf shed or my makeshift calf shed. I'm buying in most calves between kind of two to three weeks old. We're trying to just keep an eye on, on the breed of the calves as much as we can to get the better calves using the CBV and trying to encourage farmers to use the better AI bulls within their calving difficulty range to try and, and breed better, better quality stock. The carcass weight is the big thing. Um, and we're trying to get into the, the finished animal. So I suppose we're, we're kind of paying particular attention to carcass weight in the bulls calving difficulty is a big thing for the dairy farmer so we don't want hard calvings but um, in fairness most of the most of the bulls that are out there anyway are, are, are fine for cows like uh, we have different bulls in for the maiden heifers I suppose for the, for the calves that I'm buying out, out of the maidens. I suppose I've been working with the farmers to, to pick out uh, what bulls they want to use and what bulls that I'd be anxious to buy calves off and we kind of strike a happy medium somewhere between the two of us. For anyone buying calves through the market, I suppose the, the genotyping scheme is a, a great help that um, the CBV comes up in the ward and you have a better idea of what, what the calf will do afterwards. Or the calves, they'll probably be weighed three or four times before they're housed for the winter. They'll be usually weighed maybe the end of June, uh, in August, and maybe again the start of November. 
once they're weaned off milk, um, most of them will be weaned now in the next couple of weeks and transitioned over to move you outside the grass. The target for weight gain wise for the, the summer hopefully is to but they'll do 0.8. The target housing weight is probably 240, 250 kilos, maybe the 1st of November. Um, the, the yearling cattle then hopefully from the 1st of April onwards they'll do a kilo a day until they're, they're finished. It's important to know the actual monetary uh, value of the CBV when farmers are going to buy calves. Those are the calves that we'd be focusing on in order to get better carcass weights and better carcass confirmation in terms of the CBV.